Hey guys, it's me, Joe, now just giving you my review about the movie Saw 4 since this weekend, as the trailers keep saying, is Saw Weekend. Saw 4, I wasn't expecting it to be good because I thought they closed every single uh, circumstance that came up in Saw 1, 2, and 3, with the third one they tied everything together. And I was really like with Saw 4, if they do do a fourth one, they're opening up a whole new a whole new doors that don't need to be opened. If they do that, they're going to have to do a couple more sequels where things are going to have to be answered. But now, after seeing Saw 4, I thought it was very well done. I thought it, it was the um, Detective Matthews' kid that was going to be training to be the next Jigsaw. But I was wrong. It was a completely different guy who I thought it was going to be. Um, basically, Saw 4 is kind of like three Saws in one movie, so to say. Because you got how Jigsaw got to become the way he is. Um, you kind of got the events going on that happened in Saw 3. And you also had Saw 4 going on at the same time. I don't want to get into that much detail because... I don't want to give anything away because I really do recommend seeing it. Only thing I wish it would kind of do is kind of do like a little closure to find out what actually happened to Carrie Ella's character, who, if you remember in the first one, chopped off his own foot and was able to escape, and we don't know what happened with him, and Detective Matthew's son in Saw 2. We all know he escaped, or he had the help from Amanda Young. But I just like to know a little bit more what happened with him as well, because that still is wide open for grounds to talk about. Uh, another thing that I thought was interesting is that the woman in Saw 3, the one that had the rib cage device on her, they said her name was Carrie Young, and they mentioned in Saw 4 that Amanda's last name was Amanda Young. And when Jigsaw was on his deathbed, um, Jigsaw told Amanda to go and check the uh, check the file cabinet because he has something there for her. Wondering what it was, but I'm wondering since the detective Carrie Young and Amanda Young had the same last name, I know this might be reaching, but I wonder if they're mother and daughter. But otherwise, Saw 4 definitely would recommend seeing it. Um, I don't think it's going to be lasting that much longer since the new guy that they got to set up to be Jigsaw, he doesn't look like he could be the next Jigsaw just the way he looks, but I could be wrong, so let's hope when Saw 5 comes out, maybe end of October, as all the other previous Saws have been, let's hope it will hold up. So, take care guys, that's my review for Saw 4. And stay tuned for my next review, which might be coming up next week on the um, movie American Gangster, with starring Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe. This is their second film starring together. If you think about 12 years earlier, their first film together was a computer um, VR movie, virtual reality movie, called Virtuosity. If you haven't seen that one, go and see that one as well. I recommend seeing Virtuosity. Um, but I'll let you know what I think of um, American Gangster when it comes out. So take, so take care, guys, and I will talk to you all on my next review. Bye.